So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna you know, you need to find out what bug it is that you have, and then each different bug has a different place that you pin them. So this is so a wasp. That's a wasp. It's in the order Hymenoptera. Hymenoptera. For Hymenopterans, um, for like big wasps, bees, stuff like that, you want to pin them in the middle of his thorax. So you want to. Thorax is this front part. Thorax is the middle segment. Yes, its head, thorax, ab- and you want to make sure and in that, the middle that of it's his- absolutely straight. So whatever your bug is, you want to make sure that this is perfectly straight to the ground. So if you want him to, you want him to be straight, or if you want him to be like curving downwards a little bit, it just depends on your preference. But you want the the pin has to be absolutely straight with him. So and a lot of entomologists. Ditch the tweezers and just use their hands. I don't want to use but, my hands. I'm not there but yet. yes, I realize you don't want to use your hands. Okay, so he's so, on. So I don't know if that's focused or not. So like he's on the pin. So he's on. So now what? What's the next and step? And then, so you would want to push the pin as far through him as you can. Okay. okay. So the pin's in there, and then you take the pin and you want to put it in the top portion of the of the pinning block. You put it and you just push them all the way through until your your pin hits the, so you hit the paper. table. Oh, okay, you Perfect. can feel it. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. It's, it's obvious. Okay. That's why you never want to put your pinning block on top of your styrofoam ever, because you'll pin through and then your bug you'll, you'll have to touch them to push them down and you could break off a limb or you want them to be right there. So the other parts right of the there. stage would be for when you have your labels, which yes, I don't ma'am. have yet. No, so but you need you need I, two labels is, total. So this is another piece of styrofoam that I'm just going to use basically for what I call, and I don't know if this is what y'all call it, I call it the staging area, where you're kind of like putting them together before... Okay, so now I have this ladybug. So the ladybug, is that considered a true bug? Uh, yes, a ladybug okay. is... No, no, I'm sorry. Ladybugs are considered beetles. Oh, ladybugs yes. are beetles, so that's... It's coleoptera. Coleoptera. Okay, yeah. so um, where do we pin coleoptera? So for coleopterans... Um, they're very nice, very easy to pin. They have one line in their wing casing right down the middle of them. Right. You want to choose a side and pin on that side. Whatever side you pin on this bug, you want to pin for every single other beetle you have. Okay. Because all, be- all beetles... It looks like her wings are like falling off, her wing casing. Probably. All, all beetles are um, asymmetrical. They're exactly the same on both sides. So you want to pin on one side so that if you had to look at... at an insect, you would know exactly what it looked like from the other side. I hope she's okay. That one is recently dead, actually, so it's it's probably um, squishier than the wasp was. She was the wasp squishier been, than the wasp, and I feel like her while. wings are just going to come right off. Um, that does... That can happen to insects. So just be really careful. Like the more you mm-hmm. twirl her around, the more that wing is just... Well, yeah, she's a, it's a ladybug, so they're not very sturdy. Yeah, so. I know. But if you um, can see her, like her wing... I, mean, I don't think you can see her probably not, in the way, but it looks but, like her wing is like falling off. But yes, it'll happen. It'll dry, and it'll, it'll either fix itself or stay like that forever. Either way, it's a, you know, it's a ladybug. Oh, we yeah. can go outside and catch a hundred more. An afternoon. Okay, I kind of smushed her wing over. All right, so next I have two bees. I have. Uh, yes, bees. And uh, the honeybee's not great. But, um, well, it's what I call it. But so. uh, the bumblebee looks really good, so you can probably pin that one. I'm not gonna. I usually call them by gender pronouns, but I don't know which one it is, so I can probably tell them. I'm supposed to be recording, but I'm more interested in the bugs than in the recording. So. <laughs> well, so I, you know, didn't know that I was squishing them it in the baggies, is. so I didn't do a very good job with these original initial bugs. Yeah. But as we get there, I'll get better. Yes. Pro tip: never put insects in baggies. Oh gosh. Pro tip. Life hack. <laughs> All right. So let's start. This is a bumble, right? That is a honeybee. This is a honeybee. Honeybees okay. are the most common bees that you'll find. They're the very basic, small, uh, black and yellow stripes. Honey. Yeah, they're usually very tiny. Okay, are they Hymenoptera as well? They're also Hymenoptera, okay. yes. All bees, wasps, and so ants So Hymenoptera, Hymenoptera then is same as my wasp. Yep, dead center. 
Dead center, smack dab. And straight, don't. You're tilting yeah. your pin, you want to do Sorry. it perfectly straight. Yeah. And yeah. I'll, I'll, obviously you're not going to get perfect the, the very few times. You, no. Sometimes even I do it crooked, but... It's not perfect, but I feel be... like I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I'd want to do it all by myself without you here, but... <laughs> And this this one. So this one's really bumble. Pretty. This is a bumblebee. Bumblebees are bigger. Um, they're, they're really larger. Pretty alive. They have lots of different uh, colors. Mm -hmm. They can be anywhere from uh, like a greenish to yellow and black to dark brown. And it's a shame because when I caught um, the honeybee, it had a lot of pollen mm -hmm. on it, and it's since kind of fallen off in the bag and but, stuff. I was hoping. So it would... you you know that it's a. Um, a bumblebee because its abdomen has fuzz on it. Uh -huh. If it looked just like this and it, it had a shiny abdomen, it would be a carpenter bee. Those which, are really cool. Too. Uh, carpenter bees eat through wood and stuff. So and they're, they're very large, aren't they? They're huge. Yeah, I have one that's that's very large in my collection. So yeah. So then you pin it right in the center. Pin it through there. And then he's lopsided, unfortunately, because his legs kind of went up. Yes, his legs. Yeah, again, a lot of these bugs are, they've been dead for a little while, so. Okay, um, so this. You probably can't pin that one. That one has been dead too long. Um, it died no. at the same time as the others, but it's is smaller. It lost a lot of moisture as soon uh -huh. as it died. Um, and you'd need to. Well, this is a house fly, so, right? It's not. It is a surfeit fly. Oh. That's why it's well, so shiny. I need it. House flies are big. Because what if I don't find another Searfoot fly? Oh, that's fine. They're everywhere. I can't pin him? No, his legs are... You don't want to pin him like that. He looks gross. His legs are messed up. His, but what if have I to don't get, find another one? You'd have to get a pinning triangle anyways. Oh, you can't... Because he's too small? Because he's too small. If you put the pin through him, it would just tear him apart. Okay, so I'm going to put him on the injured list. Okay. All right, so what's next? Are these uh, dead? Next are... No, we only have living bugs. Next are all the living bugs, so we'll be back when we have dead bugs.